So this scene probably looks really familiar. Yeah. Not gonna kill ourselves this time. Oh. From this point on, we don't need any more armor, so it's full-time dragon from here on out. Dragon versus dragon. So we can't just go and meet Calamite. That that wouldn't be quite fair. Oh, I, gu I guess not. So we have to do a little something first. Oh, you. You have quite some nerve. Or are you just thick? Fine then. What is it that you need? Uh, Did you're not, you you're not gonna apologize to me? Victorious? No, apparently not. Found him first, but even still, that's absolutely treacherous. Yes, oh. magnificently so. So he <laughs> likes you now? I don't think he's using words correctly. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So I don't really like you, Chester. No, you're weird. So I'd really like to never talk to you again. That'd be nice. Mm hmm. Yeah, he seems to forget that he tried to kill me. Huh. has brought the abyss upon itself. Blaming the victim? Really? Serpent. Yep. They upturned the grave of Prime This Man. is also the maybe the only time in the game where you see three lines of subtitles at the same time. Thinking. Yeah, that was weird. You and I, it's all ancient history. Just a little you little tidbit there for yourself. you. Does it really matter? <laughs> I guess he just said it's water under the bridge. You've quite the nerve. Maybe. I've had enough of you. Oh. So the thing about Chester is it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like if he's smiling. Your travels. That's because he's wearing a mask. Oh. Huh. A creepy smiley mask. Good. But we're done with him. No, no more need to talk to him. No. He apparently, he apparently thinks you have some nerve talking to him. Do I? I? I don't know. I can't read him. I think it's the mask. Possibly. So, connected to the Royal Wood is like three different boss fights. But to get to Calamites, you have to come down here and deal with, well, rabid, freaky looking dogs. Good. And that's really it. It's just dogs at this point. Just dogs. Do you think they're like descent or ancestors of the dogs that you have to fight in Ulysseal later on? What do you mean by later on? Well, in the beginning of the game, I guess I should say. Uh maybe. This is more like uh, the Star Wars universe is to us. It was a long time ago and technically in the same universe, but they don't affect each other at all. No, okay, good. Well, that was nice. Yep. Oh look, a crystal lizard. Go get it. Where did it? Oh, oh. Oh, uh-oh. It's okay, it was already gone. Oh. You gotta be really quick. Huh. So, I kind of... forgot that it disappeared. I thought that it... I had just skipped it. Ah. Because I fell down, like, three platforms. Uh-huh. So you get to watch me climb this long-ass ladder up to try <laughs> to get it again. No oh, good. So we get to watch you fall again. That's when I look over and notice, oh, it's not there. No. <laughs> but that's what was supposed to happen. <laughs> At this point, I'm really just taking more fall damage. Good.
But here we are in Calamite's big arena. So I'm just going to steal some things from him before this boss fight gets started. Good. That's smart. And here we go. No. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. no. Run away. Oh, no. Bad, bad, bad. It's okay. I planned for it. Oh. Okay. Well, good. So the trick with Calamite is you have to die once to him. Oh, he's another one of those. Yup. Damn you, dragons. And you can't just die to him. You have to die to him and then go talk to our dragon slayer friend. Oh. Alright. You'll see why it's important that this has to happen. Otherwise, it's a completely unwinnable fight. Yeah, that's not fun. Those fights are not fun. Sort of like Seath the first time you face him. What's with these dragons and having to do something before you kill them? I don't know. Just like you. We have to do a lot to kill me. Exactly. Oh, black dragon posing the duress? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. I thought as much. He's called Calamite. Ferocious dragon indeed, even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. If that means kill him, then you bet. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes your spirit. Good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I'm like 99% recklessness at this point. Pretty much. I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch and see how Goth hunts dragons. This is exciting. was never loosed. That, that was probably the most badass thing I've seen in this game. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah, dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest call. Then it is great that you are blind, because I've got some news for you. <laughs> There's one standing right in front of you. He doesn't know. He would crush you. So, skipping that travel all the way down here, now that Calamite is grounded, we have a fog gate in front of his arena, and he's beatable. Alright. So let's hope to God that I can beat him. It's important. Just a fair warning right now, there's a lot of shade in this arena, and he likes to stay in the shade, so it's going to be very hard to see much of this fight. <laughs> And much like Artorius, getting a good opening without being hit back is very hard to do. I usually wait for those head swipes because that gives me the longest delay between attacks.
But good news for you, this fight's gonna go on more than long enough for you to see each and every one of his attacks. Oh, good. Including that one that he just did where if you're close enough to him, he sort of picks you up in the air and then destroys you, much like he just did. No. <laughs> So it's getting really hard for me to see him. The only way you can see him is the giant glowing eye on his forehead. Oh. So trying to guess his movements is uh, it's a little bit more difficult at this point. But we're making some progress. Alright. So I'm not really sure of the story behind Calamine. I think he's just a dick. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's all that anybody knows about him. It's just he's such a dick. Yeah. Not even dragons like him. Well, all the other ones except from, like, Seath are dead at this point. True. And Seath is probably in some library making freaky mermaid people things again. Yeah, it's his hobby. The jellyfish monsters. <laughs> but if I had to give any advice about all of the DLC boss fights, it would be that patience is definitely the way to go. Because otherwise, you're just gonna get knocked to shit. Yeah, this guy's pretty mean. But I can't tell you how many times I have fought this guy and died right around the last of his health. <laughs> That's usually about the time I got so mad that I just stopped trying to kill him. Makes sense. So that attack he just did, had I had my shield down, it would have killed me. Good. Good to know. Instantly. And that was a new tail attack. It's not good. So glad he could use it. He has not given you a chance to fight him. He's given me little chances, but... Not a whole lot. It's really just I need to wait for a certain couple of attacks, but I don't want to be right up in him because if he does that, that attack, <laughs> then I'll be killed. Probably. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Almost exactly five minutes. Not too bad. And here you were complaining. Oh, I'll always complain about this boss fight. <laughs> so the ring that he drops is... I guess just to challenge yourself? Because all the ring does is double the damage that you take. Oh. There's no, like, anything else. You just take double damage. That That's pretty terrible. Yeah. But at least we got a Titanite Slap. All right. Even if it was hidden behind a fucking waterfall. Yeah, can't be easy. Can't it just once? No. This is not, this is not that game. So between Calamite and the final boss, I think Calamite took me longer. But the final boss is a lot quicker and more hectic. 
as you barely have much time to think. Yeah. But that's three bosses down. We're we're getting through this. Yeah, we're cruising right along. So we've killed Calamit, so I bet there's a certain someone that's going to want to know. Oh yeah, he's probably going to be happy. Or sad. Or blind. Oh. Is that an emotion? I, it is now. Thou defeated Calamit, wondrously played. Lord Quinn's blessing upon me. That beast will never take to the skies again. I should hope not. Well, I think the arrow to the wing kind of took care of that. Never mm -hmm. be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration. Oh, here we go with the three-tiered subtitle again. Hatred. No. Rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At our twilight, old thoughts return in great waves of nostalgia. That's depressing. Ah, this great bow, I shan't need it, but no dragons to hunt. You don't mean... Not a huh. human could even operate it. But here, well, all right. outweighs mine. Can I even oh. technically hold that thing? <laughs> no. I suspect thou hast taken a gander at him. At what? But the dark of the abyss, which swallowed poor Artorias, threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseal. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but, seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Oh, that's ominous. Well, I'd argue that. I mean, wish is to I was being killed by a lot more than myself during this playthrough. It's true. The dark, then thou must face Manus, father of the abyss. The dark emanates from Manus himself. Even if this land shall expire, thou may be And when you defeat him, there will be Womanus, mother of the abyss. Oh, one day the if only. will fade, and only dark will remain. And even a legend such as thine self can do nothing to stop that. Oh, so it's all hopeless then. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Guess I can just leave. Yep. Words. I cherish my work. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. In truth, how is the old chap, I wonder? Limited Still vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Still friendly. <laughs> I should hope. So that's the only mention we get. Not right. Of our blacksmithing friend. Well, at least somebody mentions him. 